everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am keys plant life so today we are actually going to go through my july budget we're just going to do a recap we're going to look through some things we're going to talk numbers um what my goals are for the month of july how do i plan on accomplishing them and all that jazz so if you want to know more and you want to see and you like these type of videos stay tuned Okay, so opening up my planner, which you guys know this is a four-in-one planner. It holds my budget, my day-to-day -day life, um, appointments and planning, uh, my faith planner, my goals planner, and so forth. But right in the front is definitely my budgets planner. So we're going to talk. So as far as savings go... My savings so far, I've been able to save $3,728. Now, I know in June, I started off with $5,268, but I went ahead and decided to not make payments on my dog. I went ahead and decided to pay everything in full. So, I paid my dog off in full, and that took a hit to my savings account. Um, And I ended up with three thousand seven hundred and twenty eight dollars and five cents now that money comes from the fact that i have three accounts i have an emergency fund a rainy day fund and a retirement fund so if we get into this hold on so if we get into this why is this thing trying to play me so we're gonna go here my money goes hopefully you can see that but my Roth right now, I have my goal is to have a thousand. I have $131 in there. Keys Reserve is just my money, my personal spending money. This is what I have. Well, actually, I have more than this right now, so I need to update that because now I think I actually have 360 bucks or something like that. My emergency fund is $497. My rainy day fund is $513. Now, in my emergency fund, I'm planning on saving $2,500. And in my rainy day fund, I'm planning on saving $20,000. And that's just so I can have up to a year worth of savings. Um, retirement. My retirement is, I want to say, $14,000 this year. Not all together, this year. So all these amounts you see are this year goals. And so far, I've saved $2,718. You're probably like, why is there more in your retirement than there is in your rainy day? I probably should be contributing more to my rainy day, but I'll actually start doing that um, in July, actually. So household is a goal of $100. Gas is a goal of 80 I need to notate that I actually have... Um, how much do I have in there? I think $48 in there as of right now. Um, what else? Let's see. Audrey doesn't have anything in her Audrey fund. They have spent their money and it won't get replenished till um, the first paycheck when we do our cash envelope stuffing. And groceries only has $20 in there. Car repair has $10. It did have $80, but I had to use uh, $70 of that for oil change or tire rotation. Work monthly maintenance on my car. Car repairs only has $10 in there. <coughs> we already said that. Eating out. I don't know why that says ratting out. But I need to update that or fix that. So, oh, it'll let me do it right there. So, let's fix that now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just take it out all together. Eating. Eating out. Eating out doesn't have anything in it right now. And that's fine. So, those are my money goals. So we can bypass that because we pretty much talked about that. Um, we know how much is in my savings accounts and things like that. We haven't started tracking. I decided to start my debt tracking over and start in July because that's when it will be a little more intense and I'll be a little more on it. But as of today, I've actually paid off $2,000. Two thousand and some change worth of debt. So actually, let's look at it. No, it won't show me here. I would have to pull up my laptop. I think. Let me see. Let's go to July. Uh, see. Let me see. 
see it doesn't give me that breakdown that I need let's see okay no let me go back in June because we're starting in July so let me go back in June and get that breakdown see it's not even showing me that so I don't know but I think I paid off $2,000 worth of debt so we're starting off with 19538 going into July and as far as my budget goes okay so sometimes you just it sometimes it's not even it's not even the picture itself sometimes it's just the camera you're using so i had to um adjust cameras and change cameras so i want to for my goals i want to save at least 1300 no eating out let me put that where you can see it i want to put in 60 hours with lift I want to help my husband file his taxes. I've already filed mine. No, we do not file together. We file separately. Um, some people may not agree, but we do what floats our boats. And the next thing is the household, the cash envelopes. So for household, we're going to be putting 20 in. For gas, we're going to be putting 80. For the kids funding, we're going to put 20. For the fur baby, we're going to put 25. Car maintenance, 20. For eating out, 20. Fun money nothing right now because we're in quarantine so i'm not saving for that right now keys care 66 dollars total 266 dollars my major money savings goal is 1943 dollars although i said 1300 right here my money goal is to save at least 1900 1943 dollars so then we go here and we're going to go to total main expenses now um this is important because that i mean total main income that's important because that's my just my regular income that i got coming in um from hubby from me and things like that so that totals out to four hundred four thousand nine hundred and eighteen dollars the extra expected income is nine hundred dollars for that month and the total bill expenses is three thousand six hundred and nine dollars and the cash envelopes, like I said, are 266. But then we come over here. Let's see. There we go. Bills and expenses. So the rent is $1,598. I'm paying it actually for two months. First choice power is 167. The dog insurance, and that's just this insurance is $68 because I'm paying it for two months. Cricket is 116 because we switched from Verizon to Cricket, as you guys know. Um, Wig Slayers is a group I'm in. That's $7 a month. Xfinity is $225. Center Point is $38. Audrey gets her allowance of $25. Larry gets his allowance of $25. Amazon Prime, Kavana is $1,300. We don't pay anything for Amazon Prime, but I still put it in there because I want to know that at the end of the year. I should have notated it right here. But I want to know that at the end of the year, that's a bill that will have to be paid. Stocks is $25. Car insurance is $296. Although I think they're supposed to be giving us a little comfort on that. I think it's supposed to be like $138. Keys car note. I don't have a car note this month. Black's car note is $424. Reflex, which is a credit card, is $35. JCPenney's, I only owe $29.76 on it. And then I'm done legacy credit card 35 first savings credit card is 127 <coughs> sorry Coles is 27 forever 21 is 33 firestone is 65 youtube is 7 netflix is 16 audrey hair is nothing right now but i might go oh i don't know what that just did but i might go in and change that because i think she is getting her hair done this month um ties is a hundred but my husband always asks to that if he works overtime um i have a massage subscription so that's 60 dollars and then my dog's monthly preventive care is 48 dollars so these are just some of the things that i have going on for july um and just to give you a little insight 
um, a little more insight. This is the breakdown of all the bills and my plans for those bills. Um, now, oh, my stomach's growling. <coughs> for my rainy day, it's $300. For my retirement, I plan on putting up three hundred. For my money market fund, I plan on putting up four hundred. For my Roth IRA, I plan on putting fifty four. So I plan on putting a total of one thousand and fifty four dollars away for savings and other investments. Um, yeah. So that's how my um, paychecks from Lyft are broken down. So twenty five for Lori, twenty five for Audrey, twenty four. Or whatever this is. We'll, we'll, whatever. Um, oh, I know why I notated that like that. There's actually notated like that because I was going to have extra left over in here. So, with those extras, that's what I was going to do with those extras in that account. But, yeah, that is my breakdown for the month of um, July. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um... I just want to kind of be productive in my planning, in my budgeting, in my everyday life. Um, I will be doing a budget at the glance, budget at a glance with you guys every month because I feel like it makes everything easier. And I just really think that it breaks everything down and it gives you everything you need at a glance. So, I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart and spend smarter. I can't wait to do the cash envelopes with you guys. That's going to be super fun. Um, do I plan on adding to my savings accounts? Yes, I do plan on adding more than what I've written down. Um, but that comes with... Um, that depends on if I make the money at my other job. So, if I make the money... Then that's fine. I'll be adding more as I go. But if not, we'll be sticking to this. But this is my this nineteen hundred that you guys see is my money goal for July. So I am going to get out of here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.